I'm Richard Sparks with the Natural Resource Conservation Service. We're actually doing an infiltrometer test on a uh, saline sodic soil and uh, that occurs in Alamosa County. This is an Alamosa loam, basically that's a, a clay loam and some spots have serious sodium problems. We're using the Cornell infiltrometer. We calibrate it first as you can see that we're doing it off-site just to find out what the uh, flow rate is and also make sure all the drippers are actually dripping out of the bottom of the uh, instrument. And then when you test it on, initially you keep the air from entering from the top. And then whenever you release it and allow that air to enter, then you'll have a constant flow rate, a constant application rate through the capillary tubes onto the soil. I should release that. And as it begins then to flow onto the soil, we record the time that we release it. We record the time that overflow first begins. And then on three minute intervals after that, we record the amount of water that has been applied and the amount of water that actually overflows into a beaker that we've placed into a pit there. Uh, in order to collect the overflow. The net difference, right here you can see the uh, air intake is constant and that's what gives you the constant application rate throughout the 30 minute or 45 minute test. It'll generally take two to three minutes for the uh, initial intake rate to become low enough that you get overflow beginning. And the overflow to begin with will be fairly light and then as your test proceeds throughout the 30 minute period the overflow gradually increases with each three minute interval and you reach a more of a steady state for infiltration rate which kind of gives you your intake family that this soil belongs in. This is the better site that we're on here. You can see the alfalfa already established. The poorer site will run here in just a minute. Overflow has began and so then we time that for a three minute period to find out how much overflow occurs during that three minute period and how much application occurs. The net difference being the infiltration rate. Just a normal standard beaker that you use to actually measure the overflow that has occurred. And I believe around 520 milliliters had flown out at that time. You lift the tube slightly to stop the flow momentarily while you, while you change beakers, but the application rate continues uninterrupted. Alan Stubbe, our soil scientist involved in this test, uh, actually is double checking the uh, the amount of overflow that has occurred during this three minute interval. Some of the last minute changes, we're getting closer towards the end of our test period on the better soil. And then we'll be able to plot that. Here we are repeating the same test again with a new uh, container full of water. And we're doing this on the soil that is sodic there are very little vegetation growing here uh, and uh, the problem is the, the, the high pH, the pH was about 9.6 in this site and so the intake rate we measure initially starts at about the same as it wets the soil and then gradually whereas the better site ended up with about a one inch uh, family intake rate uh, this site here actually completely went to zero so that all the water applied simply flowed out into the cup. For the last 20-30 minutes of the test we had no intake rate at all. And this gives us an indication then of how a center pivot might react as it applies water crossing its own wetted diameter. It would work well on the first site. On the second site here almost 100 percent of the water applied would run off going downhill, accumulating the wheel tracks, and giving traction problems. A 
Again, you can see the constant flow of bubbles up through the machine, and this is what gives it a constant flow rate or an application rate that you're measuring. And then we collect the overflow. What doesn't go into the uh, soil runs into the cup. Then we measure that on three minute intervals. And while we're doing this test, the soil scientist actually took tile spades and uh, the auger and determined what the soil series we were involved with was, what the classification of the soil was, and then hopefully this data then will become more uh, available to us as we plan for future types of sprinkler systems or other types of irrigation systems on these problem soils. The depth of water is greater. You can see that almost all the water applied has run off into the beaker. And as you go through successive tests, uh, successive three minute intervals, uh, again, the, uh, the amount of water infiltrating, it goes very close to zero and the entire application rate comes off into the cup, which is our problem that we were uh, dealing with and trying to determine whether the feasibility of applying, a, uh, of installing the center pivot on, on the soil that we have here.